In this video, I'm showing you how to use a ManyChat SMS widget. Are you excited? I am. How would you like to have an easier way to collect phone numbers for your SMS marketing campaigns? You are in luck because ManyChat just rolled out a new feature called SMS Widget. This is a widget that you put on your website that easily captures phone numbers and gets your SMS list moving in the right direction. Let's jump on over into ManyChat and I will show you how it is all done. From your ManyChat dashboard, go over to your settings settings and click on SMS. You want to make sure that this is all enabled and you've set up your SMS. If you want more information about setting up SMS, you could check out the video that I've linked down below. Now we're going to head over to growth tools. So over on your left side menu, click on growth tools, new growth tool. And there it is under overlay widgets, the SMS model. Now this is brand new and you can embed it right onto your website. So let's go ahead and click it and see what it's all about. There you go. This is the preview of what it's going to look like on your website. Pretty nifty, right? All right, so let's start from the top and move on down. We have show description. Now the description is this guy right here. If you don't want to put that in, you can turn that off and you see it disappears. So it's really up to you if you want to add that. You can add a background image, which is going to fill all of this white space. I'm going to skip that for now and move on. Now we can actually do different colors in our backdrop. So we can fully customize the look of this based off of our brand colors, which I think is super cool. So I'm gonna do my brand colors, boom. All right, and then you can change the color of your button if you wish, you could change the color of your text, it's all up to you. Now you do need to confirm that you understand all of the legal jargon in here, that it's in there, it looks good, and I went ahead and confirmed that. Now I can also add another image here, which I can put at the top of my widget. So if I have it for maybe a special graphic just for this campaign, we can throw that in there. Otherwise, we can leave it blank. When do you want this to display? When someone comes to this landing page, when do you want it to pop up? Immediately on exit intent, which means they're about to exit, the website's gonna pick it up and say, here, show this to them before you leave, you know? If they've scrolled down a certain percentage on your website, when scrolling to an, a specific element that you've targeted on your website, or when certain amount of time has passed. So I usually like to do either exit intent or percent scroll. Myself, I'm not a big fan of immediate. I think it's very jarring for people, but that's completely up to you. Or even, you know, seconds pass. So let's go ahead and do like 30 seconds. Give people a little time just to warm up to your website. Now, how many times do you wanna show this to the same user? You can certainly show it never again. You know, once they've seen it, never again. You wanna always show it to them when they come to your website or maybe hours or days apart. I'm gonna go ahead and put three days apart. Now, if the user manually closes this, how many times do you wanna show it to them? Always hours or days. Again, that's completely up to you how you wanna do that. I'm gonna go days. Now, before I go next, I just wanna walk you through the widget here because we do wanna update this. So we would put our headline here and then any description, if we are keeping the description, and then this is really cool. They would go in here and they would say, where are they located? So it's gonna put the country code in for them and then their phone number. So that makes it really easy to get quality phone numbers that are accurate and then they would subscribe. And you can certainly change this to you know, join or whatever you wanna do here. We'll leave it at join. Now we can go to the next thing. Once they've given you the phone number, this is what they see. This is the submitted state. Now again, we can remove that description if we want or we can keep it open and then we can change the colors. And we can also add an image here if we want. So once you're happy with everything in terms of what you've written in your submitted state, go ahead and click next. So ManyChat has already pre-made you your opt-in message here. You can certainly go update it. Just make sure you don't change it too much for legal reasons and then we're gonna go to next again and this is where you set it up now if you've never set up the JavaScript for many chat on your website you do need to do this so you're gonna go to that blue button put in your website to authorize ManyChat to be there, and you're going to grab 
this snippet and put it on the head of all of your websites. Now, I'm gonna save you a lot of time today and I'm not going to show you how to install this on your website because every website is different. I personally use Divi, you might use a different WordPress site or you might use something like Wix, everything's different. So you need to find out where you can insert the code into the head section of your website. And if you don't know, then perhaps you should contact a web developer or someone who's a little bit more savvy. Once you've installed this JavaScript on your website, you don't have to worry about doing it again, which means you're gonna be able to use all of the website widgets and the website chat feature, and you don't have to worry about installing it every time. So you do need to install that widget code, and then you come down here and decide where do you want this thing to be visible. If you don't put anything, it's gonna show up on every web page. So you can certainly hide it on certain pages, or you can put in here what pages you want to put it on. So you can actually have specific campaigns going where you can segment people based off where they're landing on your website, which is pretty cool. And then how do you want people to see it? Mobile and desktop, just desktop or just mobile. You can also pass a value to a custom field, meaning that you can actually save information to a custom field to track what's going on here, which is kind of handy for segmentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and click activate and check. So I would put my website in here, start the widget check, and it's actually gonna go through and test and see if everything's running smoothly. Now, I actually do not have this widget actually working on this website right now, but that's just to give you an idea of how this thing is Place. There you have it. Now it is easier than ever to collect phone numbers and build your SMS marketing list. If you have questions, please feel free to comment below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel as we have even more tips, tutorials, and strategies coming your way here on the ManyChat channel. Thank you so much for watching and now get out there, start building.